Hey guys, Dragon Sheep here, and before I begin roasting this book, let me just say that I enjoyed reading it. Sure, it wasn't one of 2EG Sutherland's best books, but it was still creative, funny, well thought out, and overall a welcome break from all the drama happening in Puria. That being said, here's everything wrong with Wings of Fire. Lost Continent. Mistake number one. If Cricket's a carnivore, how come her breath smells like apples? Is she actually omnivorous, or uses mouthwash or something? Is this just a mistake in trying to describe her as appealing, or a brilliant hint that her diet may be what's immunizing her from hive-wing mind control? I'm leaning toward the former. Mistake number two! How would the bracelet on blue know when to activate and start pumping in toxin? Is it Animus Enchanted? Although it has been revealed that there are no animae on Pantala. Does Queen Wasp just have a button for that? Does it monitor your heart rate or adrenaline levels? Does that mean whenever a Silkwing gets excited, it activates? Woohoo! That'd be kind of funny, actually. And speaking of the bracelets, this leads us to mistake number three. Cricket, I don't feel so good. Don't worry, Blue. I'll save you with the power of science! So, are you gonna make a cut on the other side, or- <laughs> How did you do that? Because science! But- you can't just make a tiny slit in a solid metal band and then expect it to fall off my arm. Not unless it has a hinge of some kind, which it doesn't. That defies all logic! Shh. Science. And then she does it again with Swordtail. What is it with the scientific dragon breaking basic laws of science? <sighs> anyway, moving on. Mistake number four. They never even considered giving Sundew Silkwing disguise antennae. Then again, silkwings are usually ignored and usually keep their antennae flat, so they weren't trying too hard. Mistake number five. Why did Sundu call them bullet ants? This is wrong on so many levels because one, dragons don't know what bullets are, and two, this was unnecessary because this ant is a real-life creature, and if Tui had done any homework on it, she would know that bullet ant is just a nickname for it, and its real name is the Izula ant, which sounds way cooler and is more dragon-appropriate. On the other talent, we know next to nothing about leafwings. Maybe they do have bullets. This ant leads us to mistake number six. The queen slash librarian was bitten by it. The Izula ant is famous for the most painful sting in the world. I'm not saying it couldn't pinch you pretty good, but the burning 12 hour agony described in the book comes from its sting. She needed to be stung. Not bitten, stung. Sting, stingity, sting, stang, stag! Once again, Tui, please do your animal homework. Mistake number seven. As for the cover... A lie, Steven. A lie! Every cover so far in the Wings of Fire series has shown some setting the main character has been in in the book. So when I saw Blue flying, I thought, yay, he's going to complete metamorphosis by the end. But then he didn't. It's not really a mistake. It's just kind of disappointing that they ruined such a great pattern just to pose Blue in a cool way. Then again, I can see why they chose that for the cover, instead of this. 